Well, it's Friday morning, and to be honest, I'm quite relieved because it marks the end of a recovery week. And I always find a recovery week, well, shall we say, a little bit boring. Basically, three full rest days and only really one tough day, which was the Wednesday's training outdoors uh, at the Inner Circle of Regents Park that you've seen. I um, really enjoyed that. Um, today's going to be nice and easy as well. It's just going to be a little bit of zone two and some upper body. So, time now, of course, to hit, and they're pre prepared. The amino acids and cold coffee. Well, that's another 12A reps of rotating put up. Um, weight has come down to consistently in the 62.5 range. It may not sound like a lot, half a kilogram of loss, but it does make a difference. Um, once you're at relatively low body fat, and I am at relatively low body fat, weight loss becomes that much harder. I haven't been trying to do anything to create weight loss. Just the extra kilometers on the bike have been doing that but it makes a difference in terms of how I look. A lot more gaunt. Uh, my daughter um, the other day commented that I was looking a little bit old and haggard, and she said that my arms were a lot smaller. Very nice of her. Um, but I'm gonna try and hold the kind of 62 to 63 kilograms until, you know, the end of La Mamotte and the, D, the TTF out of Duez, because obviously power to weight's good um, if the weight's a little bit lower. And of course, if you work in the back, you work the front and vice versa. So a nice little super set there, working the chest and tries, and obviously the core with the press up, and the back and buys, and the core, and a little bit of shoulders actually, with the rotating pull up. Well, check this out. Real world, proper outdoor, bona fide cyclist tan lines. I'm actually pretty proud of those. Anyway, I digress. In keeping with the fact that this has been a recovery week with much reduced training stress, obviously Monday, Tuesday, full rest days. Wednesday, I had much reduced volume on the bike. Rather than the usual 40 minute blocks of sweet spot or a really tough kind of zone five, zone six session, I had a 20 minute kind of threshold effort where I was again, a little bit within myself, five minutes of recovery, 20 minutes of sweet spot, again, well within myself in terms of power, but also duration of the training. And then just enjoyed myself with some chat laps, catching up with Gavin Arbor, and then 30 minutes of sweet spot ramps, as it were, again, well within myself. Thursday, a full rest day, allowing the body full recuperation and recovery. And today, again, I'm keeping the volume much lower on the strength training. So upstairs, um, for the press up and pull up, rather than the usual four or five sets, it was just three sets. And here on a trap bar deadlift, rather than the usual four sets, it's just going to be two sets. And rather than going to 10 or 12 reps, I'm going to keep the reps at six, but nice and explosive, greasing the groove, and really trying to generate the power and enjoy the movement. I nowhere near failure, keeping the body nice and recovered, but the neuromuscular connection well and truly um, on the deck. I'm mixing up my words a little bit there, but there we go. That was about take six, and so the leg is a little bit um, sore here. Right. Chest up, shoulders back, air into the core, nice tight abs. Grip the bar very tightly. Tension in the lat. Get the chest up, rock onto the toes, then the heels, and execute upwards by pushing the floor away with your feet. And three with the hips. And you can see there, plenty more left in the tank. Now it's been 23 months exactly since I purchased the Watt bike and it's fair to say it's been a life-changing investment for me. However, it still has one month to go in terms of the warranty, therefore I decided to pay the £160 to Watt bike for them to send someone out to fix it. 
and he sent Kevin out yesterday. Kevin, super nice guy. He loves his Lego. Thank you very much, Kevin. Really appreciate the amazing job you did. As you know, I too love my Lego. Anyway, I digress again. Um, but because it was still within warranty, for the £160, basically they serviced all of the interior, replaced the chain, they replaced the seat lock here. Additionally, I'd used the wrong Allen key here in this thing here, and it basically had worn away the attachment, and therefore the whole of the top part was replaced. The hoods were replaced on both sides. The electronic gear shifts within there were replaced on both sides. And also, the tape was replaced. The bar tape was replaced. Really amazing job. Very, very grateful to Watt Bike and definitely love this thing. Thinking about upgrading to an Atom Generation 2, but for the time being, this Generation 1 more than beats my knees. It has been definitely, as I say, a life-changing fitness purchase for me. So now it's time for a little bit of Zone 2 at 120 RPM, a training and recovery session courtesy of holder of the one hour time trial record, Mr. Victor Campanarts. I think it's appropriate that I sport a green t-shirt from the St. Helena gym for full gas greens. Cheers. Yeah, not bad. I don't think a PB though. Lovely way to end. A very, very hot day. It was 34 here, and in London, 34 equals humid. Pre waist weigh in. Edging towards that 62 kilograms level. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Well, as I mentioned yesterday, Friday was the end of my kind of recovery five days. And today, I think I signed off on the recovery um, in quite some style. It was a Zwift Grand Fondo series, 99 kilometers, 1200 meters of climbing, completed it in two hours 40, placed sixth. Average power, 218 watts, about 3.5 watts a kilogram based on my 62 kilogram weight. And really enjoyed myself. The live chat was incredible. Love sharing ideas on training, nutrition, and life in general with everybody, and massively appreciate the support and the community we're building. Anyway, it's time for a little bit of post ride nutrition. Then we're heading off in the Land Rover all the way down to the West Country to meet friends and also the madness and chaos of Com Hunt TV. Gonna see Bullet, Natalie, Scott in person for the very first time. Really excited, but also gonna catch up with various other friends and family, Jane's family, whilst down in the West Country. Week off, Bonza. It's a Sunday morning and we've made it to just outside Minehead. Not without drama, but more of that to come. There's the sea over there. We've hired this little house here right next to a lovely looking B&B. But wow, feels good to be out in the countryside after five months really of isolation and London and obviously the winter as well. Feels good. Well, yes, it's a holiday, but for me, the fitness is part of the lifestyle. Really enjoy it, so I always continue while I am on holiday, but because I'm off the clock, it means I can just be a little bit more leisurely about the workouts. But the quest for 100 press-ups continues. Well, 43, that's a recent personal best. And look, the house even comes with Archie the dog. Apparently he always makes himself welcome. Well, look who we have here. <laughs> what have I told you about this, Scott? Always be rolling. And I believe we have the man they call Bullet Bale. Hey, Bullet. Virtual piss, uh, piss, <laughs> piss bumps piss from a distance. Think you got it right first time. But Scott, in the flesh. Yeah, boom. Boom. There you go. How it's good you? to see you both. 
Look at this. Look at the Cheshire cat green. <laughs> there we go. So this is your first social ride ever? This, yeah, I've got to say, this is my first social ride ever. <laughs> All right, we have the comm machines here. What's this one, Bullet? This is a Scott Addict RC disc brakes. Nice, nice. Disc brakes as well. Yeah, yeah I'm the disc too. Believe it or not, I did actually clean it. You cleaned it? Well, it's it all right, mate. It's a bit dirty now. Why? Well, no, I think, I think you've got high standards, and I like your high standards, Bullet. Thank you. It's got to be spot on. And your sartorial elegance is always on point. Yeah. Polka dot jersey. We're going for some KOMs today, no uh, doubt. Well, as soon as your Strava bleeds, I'm anyway. told. <laughs> Trophies. Yeah. And here is the other comm machine. Oh, hold on, let me just test <laughs> what we got here? quads. Oh, Canyon yeah. Air Road. My word, look at the size of the dishes on that. That thing, <laughs> that thing must cut through the air like nothing else. Well, you'll find out later. It's What's the mouse. mouse you got going on in here? <laughs> oh, it's the mic. Oh, okay. dead, dead squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> behind the, behind Loving. the, the, the bike race about mousey behind the car. Yeah, we can, we can, um, we can vlog each other vlogging each other. Yeah. We can go into some kind of matrix and alternative reality. Cat you get a GoPro and they can be comtastic basically because, on yeah. command TV. Anyway, look, enough of this. It's like, this is, do you know this is what it's like? It's like a scene of Reservoir Dogs, right? <laughs> <laughs> One of us can is going down. Legs? 